What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so we went through another another lot of battles, three gym battles to be precise, and now it is time for us to get to the last two gyms that are kind of in trouble and all that crud, and that is in Sir Chester and I would like to say Bellonia. That's right. So. I think first is first. Yes, we have to get to Bell and Leo because, uh, well, somebody might be waiting for us right there. Now, if you guys remember, Bell and Leo is home to the fairy type gym. And I do believe that we have a little bit of a familiar foe waiting for us right there. Now, what's going to happen first is we're going to just switch out our Pokemon right here. I did take out Blitzkrieg for Nessie. But I think I'm going to need Nessie back or uh, Blitzkrieg back because they're, yeah, we, 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 we got some stuff. You got to take care of it, all that stuff, especially since it is a fairy type gym. So let's go right ahead and see what's up. Look at this place. It looks like a fairy tale. It really does. And man, I, I, I my only wish was they could. I wish they could have had a little bit more to this, except for just like you know, a few houses and a big ass gym right here. But it is what it is, guys. So here we are going into Bellia Stadium and. Look who's waiting for us. The person we actually thought was a female at one point. Hmm. You lot. Bead. What about the Dynamax Pokemon? You think I, the elite fairy type gym leader, would have any kind of trouble? That's right. You're a gym leader now. Though I don't know about elite or whatever. Says the kid who's not elite and got beat by this guy at one point. I'm just saying. Please. Please, don't tell me that you came here to help. First of all, you're a bit late to use uh, to be of any use. And second, I didn't need any help. What? I know you'd uh, say something like that. We all came all this way uh, here to just lend a hand. What an obnoxious gym leader. The next gym challenge is shaping up to be a really something. Only Anna tricked me, it tricked and used me. From now on, only I decide how I live. And I think I should do now is to have a battle with you, Draven. Look, I'm sorry, mate, but this is hardly the time. It's okay. Don't always be such a, in such a hurry, boy. You aced my quiz, so show a little composure. Beat has already quieted three Dynamax Pokemon. He's giving you the luxury of some extra time. Bead's life won't be bound by what other people say any longer. Although, I certainly influenced a few of his decisions not too long ago. Now that now that you mention it, I suppose you did. Yeah, yeah. As expected of a wise 88-year-old granny, I guess. But this has nothing to do with Miss Opal. This battle's for me. Now, don't, now don't dilly-dally. Your only option is to accept. Okay, I'll battle you. I got no problem mopping the floor with you again for one last time, I guess. My Pokemon and I have risen from the ashes. I'll grant you a brief glimpse of how amazing we've become. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how amazing you've become. So here we are against Gym Leader Bead. That's right, guys. Gym Leader Bead. And, well... Homie here is coming out with a, uh, a good Pokemon now. My days as a gym leader have made me stronger than you. Are you sure about that? I do believe we're still 20 levels ahead of you, so I... I don't know. I don't know. So, there is a little bit of an issue. We don't have a poison-type attack. That is my bad. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Who has a poison-type attack? Okay, so, Baconator. Let's go with the Baconator and just destroy everybody right here. So, let's go, Baconator. See what you can do. And Mawile is going to be using his crunch attack. And that right there hardly has any effect. So Venishock does not affect it since it is a steel type Pokemon. But luckily for us, we do have a fire capability. So here we go. Fire Lash for the win. Say goodbye to Mawile. Mm-hmm. Mawile, you've been defeated. And everybody's growing levels right here. So now he's a, she's about to, or he's about to send Guard Devour. So Let's go right ahead and uh, just continue the onslaught right here. Let's go. Benoshock for the win. Oh, yes. Look at this. And, oh, wow. Guard Devourer just tanked it. So here comes a future sight. 
So we only got a few turns before we get hit by this thing, so might as well just defeat this guy real quick. So here we go, Venishonk again for the win. Say goodbye, Guard Devourer. Oh, yes. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. No more dilly-dallying. Everybody's growing levels and everything else between. Now she's about to, or he's about to send out Rapidash. Why do I keep on saying she? she lo he looks like a she. I'm sorry. I'm going to be switching out my Pokemon right here before I get myself in trouble. So let's go with Optimus Prime right here. Now, we still got that Future Sight ready to hit us. We don't want to go with Quackor because that might make this Pokemon faint. And here comes Rapidash. Galarian Rapidash. It looks like a snow cone. And let's go with a Boom Burst. This is a very, very powerful attack. Look at this. Nearly takes him out. And here comes a Dazzling gr Gleam. Not super effective. And here comes a Future Sight attack. And that really hits us hard. So here we go one more time with a Boom Burst attack. Look at this. Look at this. Boom Burst does the trick. Oh, yeah. How strong are you, man? Not so strong. Okay. So here's Bead coming out with Hatrini. Let's go right ahead and embarrass this guy. Actually, not with this. Hold on. Let's make this guy's life a living hell. Uh, where the hell are you? Okay, let's go Baconator for the win right here. Let's go Baconator. Alrighty. You just might be the strongest champion in Galarian history. <laughs> That's right. I'll carve my name into Galar's history too by defeating you. Eh, yeah, you won't do anything. Tough talk from a guy who has only one Pokemon left. So, uh, I think we all know who has the speed advantage right here. So, let's go, Venishock. Finish this guy off. There we go. Venishock takes a huge chunk out of its HP. And here comes a Calm Mine. Holy crud. The only thing. That's the only thing you can do, right? Okay, so, here we go. Venishock. Finish him. Oh, yes. Let's go. And, well, Hatrini has been defeated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, well, look at that. Everybody's growing levels yet again. And we defeated Gym Leader Bead for one last time. And, well, this must be some kind of mistake. I mean, I'm the one who's the Gym Leader. Yeah, but I'm the champion, so I think that outranks what you are. I don't know. Thank you for the battle. I can now accept you as the champion. It's painful to admit, but I've come to realize a few of my weaknesses. But I'll keep going, I'll keep getting stronger. I'll reach the pinnacle of fairy types can do. And yes, we get ourselves a Lee card. Oh yes. Now then, as the gym leader, I will only do my, or I will do my duty and clean the stadium. Now that that's, uh, now, now that's what I call a perfectly pink Pokemon battle. And look at that, we're getting some, yeah, we're getting some, uh, some lead cards here. That's awesome. Okay. So, there was no Dynamax Pokemon right here. And Hop is like, even after losing his right to participate in the gym challenge, Beast still found his way, uh, his own way to crash the Champion Cup. Yeah. I'd say he's a force to be reckoned with. I think it, I think I get why he was chosen to be the next gym leader. He might be unbearable at times, or really most all the time, but he's a fierce trainer. Uh, you want you want to talk about unbearable? I mean, I have a whole list, a whole adventure. You don't want to you don't want to open that that can of worms, okay? Yeah, yeah, he takes things seriously. Yeah, watching him battle, it was plain to see how much work he puts in. If you both if you both are going to keep talking, how about I uh, fetch you a nice cuppa? The hell? Right, right, I hear you. And I won't be outdone by Bead or anyone. On, on to the next one. Well, the next one's probably the last one. So it looks like most of the stadiums got have got this Dynamax problem sorted out. Let's keep up the pace, Draven. There's only one Pokemon Stadium with Dynamax trouble left. Let's finish this already. Okay. So in this one right here, we're actually going to be taking on... Uh, well, we're, we're going to be taking on... The, the final gym, Sir Chester. And if you guys remember, Sir Chester is two different kinds of gyms in version exclusives. So, we're playing Pokemon Shield, obviously. 
Uh, let's go, or Pokemon Sword. Why do I keep on saying Shield? Probably because it's the better version. I don't even know. What do you guys think? Which one? Which version is better, Shield or Sword? I don't even know. So we are playing Pokemon Sword, and we're obviously going to be going up against the Ground Type Gym Leader and its Ground Type Dynamax Pokemon. So the Pokemon to go with is definitely a Water Type or our good old buddy Optimus Prime. Now there is one little thing we need to do, and that is heal our Pokemon. We haven't done that since like the beginning of this whole adventure here. Let's go with a full restore. Look at that. Healed up already. Don't need to do anything else. So let's go right ahead and take care of this business because we got one more. That's it. Nothing to it. Okay. All righty. So let's see. What I don't get is why would they put a ground type gym here instead of Stow inside? I mean... I don't know. I don't even want to complain. I don't even want to even argue about it. Let's just get this done right here. So, here we have Sir Chester's gym leader in sword version, Gordy. Get to safety, you three. Who'd you think you're talking to, then? We're here to help, not to be helped. Oh, actually, I didn't realize who you I was talking to. Draven's here, so everybody could relax. I was just thinking over how to handle all the Dynamax Pokemon. With all of you here, we can each take one on and uh, take them on, I guess. Let's hurry to the pitch. Okay, alrighty, let's do this. Bring it on. So, the next Dynamax Pokemon we're going to be taking on is none other than Gigalith. Look at this guy. A mountain of a Pokemon right here. Scary as can be. But it has no chance against my good old buddy Optimus Prime, the Super Saiyan 3 Pokemon. So let's go with a max overgrowth just to finish this guy off right here. So let's go ahead and double his uh, his power. Make him stronger. Make him universally invincible right here. So here we go. He's growing. Growing and growing. Okay. Alrighty. Look at that. Optimus Prime ready to go. And, well, it's time for some max overgrowth. Look at this. Bam, bam. The power of mushrooms compels you. Oh, yes. And, well, there's no need for any of that. I mean, it could work. But there it is, guys. One hit KO. There goes our buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, let's go. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that was really easy. Nice work, everyone. No one's hurt, are they? <laughs> Just barely. Battling a Dynamax Pokemon all on your own is pretty hard work. <laughs> I expect nothing less from you, Draven. You seem like quite the reliable trainer, too, Hop. And he's laughing about it. I, I do? Looks like he ain't used to the compliments. Looks like he's got a grin wider than a Meowth. I do not. Shut your gob, Pierce. I'll take care of the Pokemon we battled, so there's no need for any of you to worry, all right? Draven, it's hardly a reward for what you've done for me, but please take a copy of my Lee card. Bam, we're getting another rare Lee card. And, well, if anything comes up, please contact me. All right, then. I wish you all the best of luck for in your future. Okay, all righty. So that's all of them right there. Not all of them just yet. So Hop, of course, has to speak first because he always has to. Right. I think that's uh, all the stadium sorted. Now, why uh, we didn't miss any, didn't we, Draven? All that's left is to catch those sword and shield weirdos. If we don't find them quick, they might just start up all uh, start all this up again. Wasn't Professor Sonya supposed to be looking into uh, where those two might be? And once we find them, I'm going to take them down. Beep, beep, beep. And look at this. We're getting a Rotom phone call from our girlfriend, or from my girlfriend, Sonia. Driven! It's me, Sonia. <laughs> Called it. Those Sword and Shield weirdos got into Hammerlock Stadium and we're and are headed to the energy plant. The door, the door to the plant is locked, but I think I can get it open. Give me a bit and I think uh, you'll be able to get in, in, in there. You hear that? Hammerlock Stadium. Get over here as soon as you can. Even over the phone, Sonia sure, uh, Sonia sure sounds lively. 
We should probably hurry to Hammerlock Stadium. Okay. Alrighty, so we already got that taken care of. I think it's time for us to take a look at what is going to look like what it's gonna look like if you're playing Pokemon Shield. So stay tuned guys, I'll be right back in just a little bit. Okay guys, so here's what it's gonna look like when you're in Surchester in Shield version. As you can see in Shield version, Melanie is the gym leader here and she is an ice type trainer. So she's like, get to safety, you three. And of course, they're gonna be we're gonna be saying the same thing, and it, well, she's gonna be saying a little bit three, and it's like, oh, well, it's you three. I was a little too into things and didn't notice right away. I'm afraid. And well, of course, she says the same thing. And Melanie is gonna be like, there appears to be no less than four Dynamax Pokemon. I was going to go over and plan how to handle things with all these strong trainers together. I'm sure we can yeah, do something. And yes, we are ready to go into the pitch. And it is time for us to go straight into the, well, the ice type Pokemon. And it's none other than Frostlass. So, as you guys probably noticed, Frostlass is an ice type and ghost type Pokemon. Best way to defeat this guy is dark type, ground type, hell, uh, ghost type, even fire type Pokemon. And that's exactly what we got. So we're going to be Dynamaxing and we're going to be Max Flaring the crud out of this Pokemon right here. So let's get it going. Time to finish this Pokemon off and time to, uh, you know, fulfill our destiny in the Pokemon world. So take a look at this. Dynamax Krakatoa ready to kick some butt. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So here comes a Max Phantasm for this Pokemon right here. Can it hurt me? It kind of can, but that right there sets the field up and it lowers, well, what is it lower? It lowers my defense. So that right there is gonna be something bad, but here comes a Max Flare for the win. Just like in Sword version, one hit KO. That's right, buddy. Oh yes. What now, what now? How does that feel? It doesn't feel so good, huh? Yeah, that's right. The power of Christ compels you. <laughs> okay, so that that's exactly what happens after, you know, you defeat the uh, Frostlass in Shield version and well, we're going to be saying we're going to be seeing the same dialogue right here. Compliments to Hop obviously because he's useless and all that stuff and well, Melanie of course is going to give me a copy of her lead card because, you know, she's into me and all that crud. She's looking nice and thick and whatnot, but it's fine. And she's like, give me a call if anything happens. And, of course, she's like, don't overdo it out there. So, this is pretty much it, guys, for all the Dynamax Pokemon. Obviously, we're going to get a call right here. And it's going to be in regards to the two sword and shield uh, people that, you know, we've met early on. As you probably already know, they're going to be in Hammerlock. And, yeah, we, yeah, we got... We got quite a, a doozy in the next episode. It is a huge doozy. Like, a big doozy. So much of a doozy that, god dang, it's a doozy doozy. Okay. So, there is a little something going on right here, guys. So, in the next episode, it more than likely is going to be the final episode for the quote-unquote post-game of this, this whole series right here, okay? So, what's going to happen is that I am going to showcase both battles between Zamazenta and Zacian. How that's going to happen, I do not know. I really do not know. It's just, uh, we're just going to have to play it by ear. The clips, the whole thing, Gattaca. And then, you know, the final battle between, uh, yeah, uh, you know, Hop and all that crud. So, yeah. So, anywho, guys, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. The next episode you do not want to miss. See you guys.